this is to show the permafrost specifically from uh, this map uh, to s that specifically shows the permafrost regions. There's Greenland and there's Greenland for orientation and this is Canada here, Alaska there, and all of this is Siberia and all the purple that you're seeing is permafrost. Uh, bring your attention to uh, this very, very dark heated region here, um, which is very interesting because that's the Barents Sea. And a paper has just been published that finds that the Barents Sea region of the Arctic is uh, heating up five to seven times the Arctic average. And uh, you can see how much heat is uh, in the Arctic here. And the Arctic is uh, warming up three times at least the uh, global average temperature increase now. So, of course, the significance of the permafrost is um, all of the vast amounts of carbon, frozen carbon until recently, um, permafrost. The permafrost in total holds more than double the atmospheric carbon. It's an enormous, enormous amount. So if we look at Canada here, um, all of this region in northern Canada, which is heating up very, very fast, uh, this is permafrost as well as peat-rich wetlands, which they are vast in uh, northern Canada. And uh, their source of feedback emissions, methane, carbon dioxide, and nitrous oxide. And the same applies to Siberia. Uh, permafrost uh, is the permafrost temperature is uh, rising rapidly, and that's the permafrost everywhere. And the permafrost, of course, is thawing. And uh, it's thawing much faster uh, than anybody anticipated. And thawing permafrost is already emitting, again, the three big greenhouse gases, methane, carbon dioxide, and nitrous oxide. And these are feedback emissions, and the longer global warming continues, and, of course, the more the global temperature increases, then the more permafrost will thaw and the more feedback emissions will be released and that will drive up global warming even faster. The reason why the uh, Arctic, and you probably know, the reason why the Arctic is heating up so, so fast is that uh, it's due to the Arctic sea ice. The Arctic sea ice is uh, progressively losing extent. Um, it's uh, shrinking as well as its volume is shrinking. But where it loses its extent, they, that exerts a feedback. So instead of the um, shiny white Arctic sea ice reflecting all the solar energy away, the, where the Arctic Ocean is open in the, in the summer, instead of reflecting solar energy away, solar energy is absorbed by the dark open ocean. It's absorbed as heat. So that's called the uh, Arctic sea ice feedback and the more Arctic is melted away, then the more feedback there is, and the more the Arctic temperature is increased, and that's called Arctic amplification. Here we are then looking down over the Arctic, and here we are today. That's the Arctic sea ice there, and there's Greenland, and this is 1.5 degrees C warming. You can make out Greenland again there, and this is 2 degrees C, and there again is Greenland for your orientation. So you see this huge difference that I've already pointed out of um, Arctic heating compared to one degree C. It's absolutely huge. And there's another huge, huge increase in Arctic heating, Arctic amplified heating at two degrees C. There's North America again. See the huge difference between today and 1.5 C and another huge difference, two C. There is Asia, you can just make out Eastern Europe to the far left. And um, all of that super dark region is Siberian permafrost. Enormous. This Arctic view then of amplified Arctic heating at 1.5 degrees C and at 2 degrees C, this is why the Arctic uh, has long been referred to as a carbon bomb. The fuse has been well and truly lit on this carbon bomb by uh, industrial civilizations, global warming greenhouse gas emissions, and those emissions right now are increasing, and they're increasing faster than ever. And this continued can only lead to a planetary catastrophe, an end of the world effect of global warming, with the thawing permafrost releasing, increasing, increasing, increasing amounts of all three greenhouse gases, not only methane, a lot more carbon dioxide than anybody anticipated, 
and also nitrous oxide, continuing to emit greenhouse gases and continue to burn fossil fuels is absolute madness, is completely insane. The crime of all time and manifestly the greatest evil, the greatest evil ever imaginable. The continuing emission of fossil fuel and other industrial greenhouse gases is only a road to uh, annihilation, the end of us and the end of most life on Earth.